I see. Bum 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 bum. Bum bum dum 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 I'm just gonna have Pokemon music stuck in my head all fucking evening in honor of Poke Sword Shield. Pokem Swords. Let's see how my audio's doing. In honor. A Whataburger commercial? Oh man, getting into that, uh. Okay, y'all got my order wrong today, so I'm... How's my audio? Y'all got my order wrong today, so... My audio seems fine. Let's go ahead... And get some shit... On the radar. Let's get in there. It's me. I'm the one playing. I'm the video game boy. I'm the one who streams. Ah, okay. So that's my, that's my my old playthrough. But no, we're starting we're starting that new game. Auto saves. New game options. Yes, we want subtitles. Yes, we want normal difficulty. I can't tell if I'm okay. It was it was it started on accept. It's just like you want this right here. Just hit A, stupid motherfucker. Uh, okay, so yes, subtitles. Uh, difficulty normal. Gamma's probably fine. Gamma, my favorite character from Sonic Adventure. We're not playing Sonic Adventure, though. We're playing Darksiders 2. LB plus RB, summon or banish despair. Get this despair no out of my life. Without oh. order. Good, evil, darkness, light. There must be balance in the universe. Sounds Such fake, but okay. Such is the decree of the Charred Council, an ancient body charged by the Creator to preserve the very fabric of existence. But the Fuck balance guys, has been broken. Even oh no! Now, Earth smolders in ruin, fallen to the demon lords, and the destroyer carves a new kingdom amongst his mighty chosen. Some I say the that horsemen guy. war triggered the apocalypse, that he rode to Earth yeah. unbidden and My doomed bad. all of mankind. But what of the other horsemen? That's the thing that happened. Fearless enforcers of the Council's will. What a fury, strife, and death. To know those names, you must first know another. 
I guess. Cursed union oh, shit. of angel and demon. The Nephilim countless realms preserved and burned them to ash. But four amongst them grew weary of the slaughter and feared their conquest would imperil the balance. And so a truce was made. The four would serve the council in exchange for unimaginable power. Thus were the dreaded horsemen formed. And the rider's first task was to purge their own brethren from creation, to annihilate the Nephilim and destroy their souls. That's Let nice. us now cast our gaze to one amongst the four. Not war, who lies chained at the council's feet, professing his innocence. Yeah, fuck that guy. Save his brother. Above all else, he has many yeah. Kinslayer. Executioner. Death. Those are only three names. I don't know if three is many. I would have added, like, maybe, like, a few more on top of that. Then you'd have many names. To bargain for war's freedom, Death swore that he would resurrect humanity. Hey, JB, welcome to the shark stream. This might be dark. Guess we'll fucking find out. And so death rode forth into the icy veil to find the keeper of secrets. Sick ass looking horse. Find a way to save war. Find the keeper of secrets. That's a lot of shit on my screen all of a sudden, and the camera just fucking snaps. Someday I'll play this. I really, I really want to get into the series. Uh, yeah, it's a good series glows whenever despair is available for use. Despair is the name of our horse. I don't know if that's clear. We can banish him, fuck off despair, and just uh, hoof it with our weird cylindrical feet. Or, you know, take things easy and like ride the goddamn horse like a normal fucking person. So we can also charge with despair. Zap stanima. Stanima? Stanima? Stanima. We're gonna go with Stanima. It's Sap Stanima. I mean, I've played like two hours of the first and I liked it. I just haven't sunk the time. The first is a really good Legend of Zelda game. This one is also kind of a good Legend of Zelda game. And Darksiders 3 is a pretty serviceable Dark Souls game. So, Epona rules with the horse. Once, once again. Oh, shit. Now to go alone. Uh, so... Uh, Death has some parkour shit. Prince of Persia-esque. There's Dust. Hey, Dust. How's it going? Oh! Ooh. Look at that Wiggly. Look at that Wiggly. Hello, Audrey! Welcome to the Shark Stream. I think this is the first time I've seen them ride the horse in this series. Uh, I mean, yeah, if you... I know that you kind of came in late to, uh, the last game. Um, there was a lot of horse riding with uh, War, but he gets his horse really late in the game. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of usage of it, whereas Death, on the other hand, has his horse right from the start. So you get a lot of horse riding. Anyway, we're gonna dodge. So Death is kind of a glass cannon sort of character. He can't take a whole lot of hits. But he can deal a lot of damage really quickly. Yeah. Pick that up. Pick that up. And also gotta we got we got fucking loot in this game, so that's neat. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start fucking doing shit with that, I guess. There's scythes. 
scythe possesses a curved blade mounted upon a straight handle. Though normally a farmer's tool. Death, I don't care. Uh, okay. We've got a secondary weapon. Let's go ahead and equip that. And we'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, we got some new boots. Uh, this one makes the defense go high. This make defense go up. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, JB. Uh, you know, just got off work, so been dealing with that all day. Uh, oh, I didn't just get off work. I got off work like an hour and a half ago. Uh, okay, we're gonna call that there. Uh, so we got our we got our sides as our primary weapons, and we got secondary weapon is is big dumb axe. Um. Our primary weapon is always uh, some form of scythes, usually du dual wielded. Whereas we have choices for the secondary weapons, we can have big slow, or we can have small fast. And it really just kind of depends. We'll get more options as the game goes on. This game has a lot going on with it, admittedly kind of to its detriment. Oh, oh, I fucked that up immediately. Okay. Jump. There we go. I have to do it at an angle. Not like... Okay, and I can lock on as well. Oop. Nice fucking try. Gonna get in there with the sides. So we're going to be picking up pretty much everything. More or less everything we come across. There's a reason for it. Um, we can feed items to certain weapons that we get later. Oh, shit. That one fell over. There's certain, um, weapons and armor that we can, like, feed other shit to- God damn it. Okay. That we can feed other, uh, other weapons to. Um, they're called Possessed Weapons, and it uh, increases its stats, which is pretty neat. It's a pretty neat system. So it pays to hold on to, like, all the inane shit we end up getting. Oh, a hammer! I don't know if that's any better than what I've got. Uh, let's see. No, attack, go down. I can turn on auto loot collection, which may actually be, um, really good for me, honestly. <laughs> okay, let's, uh... Yeah, get him! Get him! Get him! Fuck yeah! Okay. Uh, okay, where was I going? I'm going this way. So we gotta find the Keeper of Secrets, because we're gonna try and resurrect humanity. Oh. Who's that guy? We're gonna try and resurrect humanity to, uh, because, as you know, um, war was, uh, wrongly accused of, uh, killing humanity. So if we resurrect humanity, then it's like, oh, well, there's nothing to punish war for anymore because the crime that he committed is undone. But first, we gotta find a fucking way to do that. So that's why we're heading to find the Keeper of Secrets. So what's the horseman of this third game? I know she's a woman, but don't know what she's of. She is, uh, Fury. And she is by far my favorite protagonist of the three games. And I genuinely love Darksiders 3. I'm excited to get to it inevitably when I finish this. Ouch. My bones. Alright, while well, we got a moment, how are my audio levels? Can you guys hear me okay over the game? 
I've been picking up a lot of shit. Hold on. Or no, I picked up some gum, some uh, gloves. Wraps. Equip those wraps. Look at my dumb thingies. Huh? What? Yeah, uh, whatever. Darksiders 3 is definitely like my favorite game in the series, honestly. And I love it, and I'm excited to play it on stream. Especially because they've been updating that game something fierce, and it's like way better now. It plays a little bit easier. Ouch! My bones. Oh. Game might be a bit too high. Okay, hold on one second. Let me... Let's keep the voices a little bit high up. Let me know if that helps. Hello, sir? Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real with the non-stop pop-pop of stainless steel. I cannot. Oh. So now, rather than having a button to tell me that he can't pick something up, I just I walk into it. Impossible. I cannot. Did he, like, Impossible. laugh on that one? I cannot. Impossible. He's laughing about it. That's great. I love that. Okay, how do I... Um, can I use... No, hold on. There we go. Alright. Cool. Impossible. I cannot. Impossible. I cannot. I cannot. Impossible. Are you all right, sir? 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 Sir, are you okay? Oh. Okay, I guess I'm down here now. I didn't want to be, but the game made me. I like to think it just slips out of his hands. <laughs> He's just cracking up over that. It's like, oh god, it's so slippery. going this way. So I am playing uh, Darksiders 2, the Definitive Edition. Um, because the original version of the game is played, is uh, unfortunately plagued with some pretty serious bugs um, that were thankfully uh, fixed when uh, Gunfire Games was allowed to continue working on the game uh, after being, or did a little bit more work on the um, re-release of the game after being bought out, or after being purchased by Nordic. Um, we're not going to be, we're, you know what? No, no. Let's fucking talk about Nordic. Let's take a moment and talk about THQ Nordic, because holy shit, some recent events are uh, not great regarding them, let's say. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like, how, how do you make that mistake? Here's an ice giant. Let's fight this guy and not worry about THQ Nordic's dumb bullshit. Gunfire Games is still fine. Whoop. I have, like, items that I can check on, actually. Hold on. 81 to 89, 79 to 91, 80 to 90. Um, this has a higher max, but a lower min. I'm going to go with this one for a bit. Uh, higher defense. Let's go ahead and throw those on.
yeah, like I said, um, thankfully, Gunfire Games is still good, but like, Jesus Christ. Like, I, I, I thought it was neat talking about, like, uh, Lovecraft's bullshit. Oh, hold on. Ooh. Reaper form. We're gonna get to, we're gonna get to play with Reaper form later. It's gonna be fucking sick as shit. Uh, I get anything from that, really? Let me check. No, I didn't get anything from that, except for cash money! this fucking thing. Action! Push Bhutan. Also, hello, Malik. Welcome to Shark Stream. Good to see you. Oh, I broke your statue. Oh. This elevator's a piece of shit. <laughs> Death can continue wall running on parallel or perpendicular walls. Wall hops. We got those hops. Who said that? You sound like an old piece of shit. No, fuck off. I'm here to find the Keeper of Secrets and I'm not leaving until secrets aren't kept anymore. Or something, I don't know. Keeper of Secrets, give me your secrets that you are keeping. Please. I'm begging you. I need secrets. Oop. Oh, those guys are awake now. Oop. Oh. Make big damage, go. Get him. Bam. Wrecked. I don't think you ever run out of slots for weapons. Let's see here. That's worse. It's a lot of fun. This is a really fun game to play. I'm really excited to be playing it. I like Dork Siders. Hey, ho, ho, ho. Whee. Oh, when he's climbing up these things, his, his, his dumb hands make, like, horse clippity-clops. Listen. Oh, that's adorable. My horseman can't possibly be this cute. Hello, people of sequence. Oh, shit.
once before, horseman. Look at me now. How I curse that day. You're old. How I curse you. Careful, Crowfather. I'm not here to ah, put you out of your misery. Crow Daddy. Not yet. I know why you've come. Your brother, the one called War. He's been imprisoned by the Child Council and awaits their judgment. For dooming the Earth. For mankind's extinction. Why should I care about your brother's fate? Because you know the truth. Your secrets can save him. <laughs> the Council will condemn War. Strip him of power, let him rot in oblivion. To hide the truth. My secrets cannot prove his innocence, horsemen. No. But they can help me to erase the crime. Bring mankind back from extinction. Madness. If it's madness, then who better to show me the way? Should a way Ooh, exist, ouch. you will find it here. The oh. Tree of Life. Yggdrasil. Let me pass. Oh. Not yet. That which you gave me. You will take it back. In exchange for its secrets, you agreed to keep the amulet. No. The voices, they curse and threaten without end. They cry to return. You must destroy it. I cannot. You annihilated their flesh. Why not? Why do you guard their souls? Open. Oh, the they're the Nephilims. You will not pass while I live. So I gotta kill the crow daddy. Crow daddy versus horse boy. Round one, fight. Here your brethren are trapped in eternal torment. Do you wish to join them? And what no. of war? Would you kill your brother to save your precious balance? He is innocent. I mean, are you so certain? Yes, I played the first game. Oh no! Confront war. Ouch. Oof, ouch, my guts. Whoa! Ouch, my bones. Daddy is horse boy. Ah, fuck. Okay. Oh. Oh, shit. Mash. Get him. Oh. That looked like it hurt. Oh! My swings were too high. Oh, fuck. Nice fuck. Ouch, my bones. Ugh. I like how there was just that spurt of blood in the middle of the cutscene. Oop. Fuck him up! I think the audio got a little desynced there. Yeah! Crow Daddy. That seems unnecessary. Open the portal. Death Your wins. Your secrets die with you. Fatality. Oh, fool. My secrets. But not yours. Ah, oh, shit. Oof, my tit.
Death performs an acrobatic move to evade traps and attacks. The uncountable Fucking worlds sure does. Oh. of our universe swirl in an endless abyss. That's one way to look Many at it. Many worlds ravaged by time or conflict are swallowed by the abyss, returned to the and nothingness in which they were formed. But others linger for eternity on the brink of annihilation. That creation might be balanced with destruction. And in the final moment of battle, death was banished to one such world in the autumn of its life, yet not far. From the edge of darkness. Had I mean, that's fine. Autumn's my favorite season. Doom, that answer would be found in the horseman's future and in his past. Whatever that fucking means. Oh, big be boy. Still, horseman. You are wounded. Don't are you from that new Pokemon me. game? Your arrival here is a bad omen. Yes. It troubles me greatly. Old one, there's more trouble ahead if you don't start making sense. Where is the tree of life? Life? <laughs> this world is dying, lad. Choking on chaos and corruption. We can do little to stop it. Soon, the great tree too shall perish, and with it, the last of my people. Is that not Sucks. what brought you here, Pale Rider? I seek the Not tree. really. Your chaos and corruption don't concern me. Okay, maybe it concerns me a little bit. <laughs> I am concerned. Color me concerned. Whoa! Fuck. Ouch. My bones. I did you it. fight well, but this corruption can't be beaten with a blade. Seek out the Says you, sister. I've got a hammer. Ask her about the fire of the mountain. Help her, and she will help you reach the tree. As for me, I must return to my work. Who are you? And who are you to command a rider? I am <coughs> a maker, older than even the Chard Council. These hands That's pretty old. have laid the foundations for many worlds. But that was Those long big ago. ass hands. And now they but hardly know the touch of stone. Are you not curious as to why I seek the tree? I would not presume to question one of the four, but yes, tell me. I must restore Since humanity. I guess I offered. To redeem war. Heaven and hell battle upon the shattered earth. All creation trembles, and at the center of it all. Stands your brother. He is innocent. Yeah. I never said he wasn't. The tree holds power over life and death. If you would resurrect humanity, then you are headed in the right direction. Be warned. A dark presence dwells now within the tree, and the path is barred by corruption. Gross. Okay, bye. Right fast. Fuck! <laughs> it startled me. I got a skill point. I'm uh, I'm assigned skill points. Teleport slash. Let's do it. How do I do teleport slash? Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, X is my slashy slash button. So let's go ahead and do that on LB and X. Alright, what do we got around here? There's a chest over here, it looks like. Hi, Dusk. Dust? Dust. It is a pretty good name for my magic meter. 
Ooh, I got some cool shit. Let's see what kind of cool shit I got. Show me the cool shit. Ooh, big damage go up. Secondary weapons. Uh, damage go down. Okay. So we got some sick ass new sides. That's pretty cool. Do I not have a double jump? I'm not double jumping. That looks nasty. I think that's all that's in this area. That dude's just kind of hobbling around. He ain't hurting nobody. So those are makers. Uh, there was a single maker in the first game named Ulthane the Black Hammer. He's a pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, I believe he at that time at the time that that game that the first game takes place he is identified as the last maker, or at the very least one of the last of the makers. Uh, but obviously, since this and Darksiders Three take place before the first game, uh, before the majority of it at least, uh, there's a lot more makers. So we get to see more makers, and that's cool, because makers are neat. Especially the lady makers. Lady makers are great, and you'll see why. Here's this guy. What's up? I'm gonna go this way. Bye. Rude. We're not going to fight him yet. We'll fight him later. How soon will we see why? Oh, just momentarily. Momentarily. It's like right up here. Also, there's this thing. My inbox. Anyways. Hello, Alia. Maker's beard. The rumors are true. A horseman in the Forge Lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge. Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's. If forge. you had the chance Nay, to change your maker's fate, forge is lost to us. Would you? Silenced by the hands of corruption. But in its depths, we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets. <laughs> and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. I came here seeking the tree, okay, and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the Stonefather's blood. It once flowed into our forge, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power, the heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them, and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern Sucks. me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers, not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's key. And we need our forge to craft one. Will you help us? What the is cauldron. this cauldron? A temple built in the shadow of Stonefather's Peak. There the fire of the mountain was harnessed and passed into our forge. Ride east of town, ride through the charred pass, and towards the cindery peak of the Stone Father. There, you will find the cauldron. I maybe understood like three words in that sentence. Damn, no words, your brother. <laughs> but hardly silent. His voice is the ring of the hammer and the roar of the white flame. Yes, he works while you talk. I may mean. have need of a blade. Is your need greater than ours, horsemen? I think not. We fight for the survival of our realm and our kin. Prove worthy, and mayhaps we can do business. Well. Gotta speak to th Okay, bye. 
gotta speak to Thane. He's this guy over here. So uh, you may already kind of be getting the notion that this air, that this world, this game uh, is a little. It's 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 big. It's it's a big world. Uh, maybe too big, <laughs> actually. Um, as was a kind of a common complaint about it is that there's it's real big, with not a whole lot to do. Hey man, what's up? Hmm. The Reaper. It's about time you came. The Makers is are it? dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. <laughs> a warrior's life Sucks. is never easy, old one. Aye, not easy, but simple. I always saw my end with blade in hand, a field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? <sighs> you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that. So they're like zombies. Before you mark me as a coward. Do what you must for okay. you, old one. You're a coward. Mine I ride to the cauldron. Orsman, you'll find not that way, but trouble. Well, if you find sure a corruption so. waste deep, that's as good a place as any. You know, there's a reason this gate is here. And if you were a friend, I wouldn't have let you pass. But then, <laughs> who is friend to death? Tell me of the cauldron's secrets. Have you wisdom to share, or was it long since knocked loose in battle? Oh, wisdom ain't That's like rude. teeth. I've plenty left. Enough to stay clear of the cauldron. The ancients filled it with right nasty traps. But one so right as nasty. itself will surely elude them. <laughs> I don't want to train because I don't want to fight this guy right now. Harvester's Revenge. Thane showed me a new move, apparently. Uh, use Harvester's Revenge for seeing RB forward, evade, and X. Okay. That's cool. I'm into it. Take your time, man. I'm not going anywhere. Except for through that door. Uh, you got anything to say? You got anything to tell me? Fire is more valuable than I, horseman. You should make haste to the temple. Fire alone won't save your realm. You speak of the forge. Aye. Without the fire and the tears of the mountain, without the forge itself, we have no means to clear the forest and reach the tree of life. What then? Sucks. Our power is over creation, yours over death and despair. You are Nephilim, and dust, my 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 raven. Perhaps in that there is hope. Give me some more lore dumps. How old is the forge? It is as ancient as the realm itself, and perhaps even older. It is said the it's forge was old. the first thing we makers built. That in its depths we shaped entire worlds. How did you build a forge without a forge to build it with? May the Maker's Forge light your way. Y'all made a forge for you made babies? Y'all made a forge before you made the tools to make the forge? Did y'all make ye forge? I'm gonna go up here. What's over here? Is it nothing? Seems like maybe nothing. Ooh, hold on. There's a thing in here. What is this? Boatman coins! Ooh, that's right. Volgrim is in this game. Uh, how do I get out of here? Okay. So you may look at this area and you may think, oh, this is a lot of hullabaloo for what, announce, uh, for what amounts to essentially a hallway. But little do you know, this is just a fancy loading screen. While I'm running along and 
taking a really long time just to get through this short corridor, the game's loading the entirety of the next area. You know what game did a similar thing? Star Fox Adventures. Another fantastic title. And they just like spawned into the universe and punched some trees, got down to business. Ah, yes. The Forge Lands, aka Minecraft World. Oh, that looks nasty. Ooh, it's making squishy noises. I don't like it. It's looking at me. Oh, I don't like it. Horsey. Okay. Uh, can I get a map? This is not a particularly helpful map. <laughs> but it looks like I have to go to the Weeping Crag. But here I am. That's me. That little arrow right there. Uh, this is Tree of Life. The Shadow Gorge. The Shattered Forge. The Fjord. I mean, Fjord. The Crucible. The Crucible actually just recently got added to... Darksiders 3. Um, as DLC. I haven't tried it yet. But I might. At some point. Anyways. We got a... This is a big empty area. We're gonna go... This way. Probably fight some dudes. Swoosh. Hold on, gotta load the next area. Wait, hold, hold on. Oh, it's so sad, this crag. This crag, so sad. So sad, this crag. I don't know what I'm doing here. There's, like, stuff in this room. Hold on. Oh, there's so much. Including, but not limited to... Vulgrim! Oh, I missed you, Phil Lamar. Greetings, horseman, and welcome. I've been expecting you. Vulgrim, what brings you crawling out of the shadows? <laughs> I wouldn't want to lose my most valuable customer. Not to what lurks at the edge of shadows. So here I am to offer my wares. What do you, what are you buying? Did? I'm not here by choice, demon. I merely followed the trail of carnage. Your blades are as sharp as ever. Even still, I may be able to help you. I carry things others would. Brown the bone. Go on. Take a look. You won't be disappointed. Okay, but no please stop it. If you have the code. So, Volgrim's got loot boxes. <laughs> Which is really funny to me. We're gonna hold off for a legacy box if we can. Um... Another time, demon. Until then, perhaps you'll grant me a small indulgence. Okay. There are pages missing from the Book of the Dead. I believe many lie along your path. If you bring them to me, your reward will be substantial. And so okay. will be my damnation. Complete the first chapter. Of the Book of the Dead. Alright, I'll just take a quick dip. Or at least fall on the 
land. Okay, there we go. Uh, ooh, another boatman coin. Let's go ahead and grab that. Get it. Please tell me there's no microtransactions. There are no microtransactions. He's just got loot boxes. <laughs> in that they have, like, a random item in them, I should say. Like, you can... There's certain kinds of motherfucking... What's the word I'm looking for? Fuck, there's certain kinds of fucking uh, currency that you can collect that will go towards purchasing one of these boxes. And they include a random item in them. Of uh, varying degrees of rarity. From My Little Pony. What? <gasps> We're gonna go up here. I don't think there's anything we can really do in this area right now. Oh, wait, hold on. We can go up here. Break some shit. Get some gold. Locked doors require a special key. Which, guess what? We ain't got. Fuck. I wonder if there's something different I'm supposed to do there. I'm gonna head back up and find out. Whoop. Yoink. Let's take a closer look at this. Ah, I'm supposed to go underneath. Okay. Got it. Aha. Can't stop this. Oh, shit. That might could stop this. Stop that. Ooh, these guys are level four. I am but a mere level two. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I'll get back up. <gasps> Fucking lock on. God. Christ. <laughs> How am I doing on, like, items? Do I have anything new I should take a look at? No, not yet. I am just a lethal creature. I cannot change this. Whoop. Let's see here. Where was I? I was breaking stuff. What was the button to heal again? Am I good on heals? Oh yeah, I'm good on heals. I don't need heals. I do need that cash money. Looks like that door is locked, which means that my only recourse is to go in this door. Just open the door with my stand, it's fine. Ow. My bones. Ooh. Oh! Fuck. Where am I? What just happened? Shit, I missed a fucking chest. God damn it. Why isn't this game keeping me from doing the dumb things? <laughs> I can't double jump yet, so... This game needs to be working a little bit harder to keep me from doing stupid shit. <laughs> and it's not doing a good job of it so far. 
It's fine. You know what? It's fine. Guess what? It's fine. It's fine. Listen. Listen. It's fine. <gasps> Listen to my words. It's fine. Locked doors require a key. Did you know, Nesh to do? Locked doors require a key. Here's a fun little fact for you. Locked doors, they require keys. Oh, no, not that way. There we go. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's try this again. Maybe I won't fuck up this time. No, this thing is great. Impossible. Impossible. I Impossible. I cannot. Impossible. I cannot. Impossible. I cannot. Impossible. I cannot. All right, so we got some new shit. Uh, we got Savage Claws. Uh, so, they do faster damage. So, it's hard to tell... It's hard to say for certain exactly what fast damage with a high of 35 kind of scales to over time. Um, but it also gives us an up on piercing damage. And we get a higher critical chance at critical damages as well. So we're going to go ahead and equip these, and I'll show you what those look like in a sec. We also got Vagabond cover. So, we kind of have a semblance of a shirt. Not really. But it's about as close as Death's ever can get. So this is, this is how claws look. They, they go like this. It's pretty nuts. We're going to just Naruto run for a little bit. Because the damage that's listed is really... <laughs> the damage that's listed is really only um, what the damage per hit is. It's not like damage per second. Where, like, a faster, a faster weapon that has a lower damage per hit... Or, damage per hit, can still have a higher damage per second than, say, um, slower weapon. Okay, so that's how that goes. We're going to explore these waters real quick, because I'm sure there's something down here. This isn't even, like, what we're supposed to be doing right now. There's, like, an actual objective we have. As seen in a lot of the Assassin's Creed games that I've played, games where there's way too much shit to do are great for my ADHD. Oh, do we got portal shit in this game? I think we got portal shit in this game. That'll be fun when we get to it. Where are we going? Dum to dum. I'm definitely getting more than a little sidetracked here. It's fine. Listen, it's fine. I don't know if you've heard, but it's fine. Ooh, what are you? Oh, it's a key. Oh, it's a key. Ooh, it's a key. Okay. Uh, we're going to go back here real quick first. Because there's stuff over here. But this might only be portal stuff. I may not be able to actually do anything with this right now. Yeah, I can't do I can't do anything with this right now. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to go back. And we're going to use this key. Because it's a key and we got to use it. 
and that's how it works. That's that's video games, baby. Pardonnez moi. Candy Graham. And we're just going to do a hop, skip, and a jump down here. Cool. What's up? Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Ooh, you got big health. You have large health. Big health, boy. Look at this fucking pangolin. Come on. Come on. Come at me. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, you're no joke. That's fine. Ouch. Okay. Ooh. Ah, uh, oop, okay. That's not good. Oh, no! Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're doing good. We're not doing good. We died. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we were doing good for a little bit, and then we weren't. We're gonna give that... We're gonna, we're gonna give that another try. We're gonna give that... Just, just another try. It's fine. We can take this guy. We can take this guy. We got pretty deep in there. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Can't dodge that way. Alright, he's mad, so he's gonna do that. Whoa! Ooh. I am playing a very dangerous game. Oh, fuck, okay. Haha! -ha. That was brilliant on my part, if I do say so myself. Whoa! Center it. Whoop! Okay. He's upset he's spaghetti, clearly. Got him. Finish! I got something new. What was that? Savage gauntlets. Okay. Uh, they do about the same as what I've got, so not really worth it to change over. I like the piercing damage a little bit more, personally. The piercing bras. That's why people watch my streams for the jokes! Ooh, a Savage Glaive. It's slow damage. Um, drop in piercing, drop in critical chance. Uh, critical damage uh, is about the same as what I've got right now. I'm going to go ahead and stick with what I have. Uh, let's pop this baby open. We got some cool shit. Let's take a look at it. Uh, Vagabond cover. Uh, strength go down, arcane go down, crit damage go up. Defense remains the same. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with what I've got. 
Hooray! This was pointless. It wasn't pointless. I did a cool thing. Probably got some EXP. There's stuff over there. I can't reach it, but it's over there. Huh. Fuck. That would have been really cool if I had done that without failing. Can I get another shot at that? I can. Alright, let's try that one more time. Fuck. <laughs> Immediately, right out the gate, the game wants to make a fool out of me. I understand. I would make a fool out of me too. Just for being so arrogant. Oop. I did it! I found a Book of the Dead page. Hooray! Ooh, this goes deep. Hold on. This goes way deep. What is down here, I wonder? Hello, secrets. Hello, Bulgwim. What is this? It's been a while since I last played this game, so I'm not super well versed in a lot of things in it. Oh. Um. Am I out of my depth? Or what? I'm maybe a little out of my depth. Oh, God. Wow. Oh. Okay, now I'm dead. <laughs> I thought I was dead for a second there, but then I wasn't. Yikes. Gorewood is maybe a little out of my league. <laughs> Realistically, should have maybe expected that. Here I am all like, ooh, what is this? I found a secret place. And the game's like, no, you didn't find a secret place. You found a place you would most likely find later on. And here is a way overpowered enemy for the level you're at. I should have known. I should have known you'd do this to me, Darksiders 2. Here I am, trying to give the people a good show. And you just, you just rub my face in the dirt. Don't appreciate it. Anyways, we have an objective that we're supposed to be completing. <laughs> and by golly, we're going to complete it. How's everybody doing today? Hope everyone's enjoying the stream so far. I still really like the Darksider series. It's got a really... It still has a... Like... I mentioned this a lot in... Um... Uh, the stream for Darksiders 1. But because of the game's uh, aesthetic primarily being driven by the original art by uh, Joe Mad Madeira? 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 I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Joe Mad. Um, the game has a very 90s comic book feel, uh, which is doubly... Uh, emphasized by the actual comics released for the game. And I love that aesthetic for it. It's a good aesthetic that not a whole lot of people are capable of. Which, I mean, reasonable 
when you really think about it, like, 90s comic book isn't really a hot commodity of a aesthetic right now. Which makes it all the more better when a game does it, and does it really well, and in a way that I really like. Oh, big slashy. I big slashy. See, that's what I mean when I say that, like, um, something that strikes fast but maybe has, like, a lower uh, damage per hit um, can sometimes do as much damage as one of the slower uh, big damage items. Horse. Let's actually do video game. Chest. Ooh. Got some more armor. What's this? Ooh, that's big damage. I'm gonna switch to that. That also gives me good piercing damage and good critical chance. It does drop my critical damage, but the damage buff is so high that it almost doesn't matter. Uh, that is a big enough jump in defense that it is reasonable to go ahead and take. Did that change my outward appearance at all? Nope. That's fine. Book of the Dead page. Toggle stats. I thought it was toggle stats for the Book of the Dead page. <laughs> For a moment, I thought the Book of the Dead had stats. Look at this fucking cool ass horse. What a good horse. Hold on, there's a chest up there, and I want to know how to get to it. Maybe go up here? Hey! No place for a horse. Are we sure about that? Who are you to say what is a place for a horse? You're just a horse boy. Ah, uh, hmm. Uh, the damage isn't enough of a buff to lose the piercing and critical chance. Two forty-five. Two fifty. Christ. <laughs> What is that big sound? I hear big smash crunch. What is that noise? I hear something. But I see it not. It may just be all the little dudes running around. No, go away little dudes. Hiya! Gotcha. Oh, another chest over here. Gage gets sidetracked. The stream. Ooh. Big damage. Okay, let's see. Oh. Got that traversal. We got something. We got gloves! Arcane is up! Hell yeah. Take those arcane ass gloves. Major arcane, uh, gloves. That didn't work at all. That wasn't even a joke. That was like an anti-joke. Here's a big-ass volcano. That's pretty cool. Who's following me? Ouch! My bones! I don't appreciate this.
the chart pass. Ooh, hold on. Wow, these guys are persistent. My power's increasing. Let's go get this boatman token thing. I forget what it's called. We got three of them, though. That's pretty nice. Oh, that's right. I get a skill point. Um, enemy struck by teleport slash have a chance to be set ablaze. That's pretty good. So, hold on. Because I've also got necromancy skills that I can get. Zoom. But necromancer stuff isn't particularly good in early game. You really kind of have to get along a bit in order to kind of uh, get a chance to really upgrade it. So we're going to go ahead and continue along with these skills. Teleport Slash gets a lot of options. Harvest is really good to get. A lot of... All of the Harbinger shit is really fucking good, honestly. So we're definitely going to be uh, spending some time with that once we get to that point. Uh, we got a big area here. Ah, that one almost hit me. That's not cool. I've been in this area for a l for not quite an hour. More like 45 minutes. And I still haven't really reached my, uh... The, the thing I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> whatever's in here. Uh, is this any better than what I got? It super isn't. Bye. Like I said, eventually we're going to start getting possessed items, uh, which is going to require us to feed them items in order to level them up, and that's going to be... Uh, it's going to make it a good idea to hold on to a lot of the shit we have. Alright, we got stuff up here like lava and magma. Are those the same thing? I don't fucking know. There's this guy! The Nephilim, oh, the one they call death. How did you get here? Took a wrong turn. It appears I'm stranded here with the rest of you. If you seek the cauldron, you should know that it fell to corruption fair long ago. I can still feel the fire itself rumbling deep in the earth. I'll take my chances. Say, if you're headed in there, you mind doing something for me? Yes, I mind. Aren't I doing enough already? Perhaps. Though it seems to me you're doing right enough Don't for yourself. Be a dick, Death. Our benefit being a fortunate side effect. Well, if it ain't much trouble, I, I left an old metal platter in there, with the image of two hammers scribed in the center. Not much to look at, but uh, it was my journeyman piece. Last thing I ever forged. A dish. 
You want me to bring you a dish? Yes. Well, it has sentimental value. If you find it, I'll make it worth your while. He's being honest about it. Than the other. Who are you? Less pleasant on the eyes, for one. <laughs> I could say no less for you. Folks around town call me Pup or Lad. But I prefer my own name. Khan. Pup it is, then. As you will. Matters not to me. Why not restore the fry yourself? I came here just for that purpose. Figured I'd pop the cork, so to speak. Be the hero. But the cauldron is locked up well and tight. And the way through is swallowed by fire. You look capable enough. Perhaps you can find a way. I'll wait here and guard the entrance. Thanks? <laughs> oh. Okay. That's how we do it, I guess. Yeah, we do it. Let's pop that cork. We just got something from that. What do we get? I uh, got a couple things. Nothing good. Nothing better than the savage axe. Neat. So this is basically our first dungeon. The cold. Fuck. Okay. Shadow bombs. Oh, hold on, there's a chest. I almost didn't see it. What's over here? Gross crystal things. Cool. Let me open this. Got some cash money. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Ouch. startled me. Uh, that is a big enough jump in defense to warrant me putting these on and dropping the arcane. Looks like there's maybe another chest that is surrounded by these weird gross crystalline things. So what we're going to have to do is because those are colored like the shadow bomb, we're going to need to grab a shadow bomb. We're going to chunk it Thereby unlocking the chest. I, I spy with my little eye a cat. Ragnarok has arrived. Hello, Ragnarok. How are you? Uh, ooh, execution chance. I will take that. Oh no! Oh, fuck. I do not want to fall in the lava. Those guys fell in the lava. That's kind of hilarious. Oh, shh. Jesus Christ. Alright. We're gonna go this way. There's a locked door. There's some dudes. Let's kill the dudes. Whoop. Ow. My blood.
I've actually started listening to. I got um. So Darksiders, much like uh, many other video games, uh, in this modern day of gaming, has a, a had a bit of a multimedia push where you know like games will come out and then they'll get like comic book or novel tie-ins if you're lucky an animated movie things like that um darksiders 2 got a novel tie-in in the form of darksiders the uh what's it called it's the abomination vault which sounds like the most darksiders fucking thing you could possibly imagine And I've kind of started... I got an audiobook of it, so I've kind of been sort of listening to that. I don't know it, how well I'm, like, paying attention to it. Because I've always... I've always wanted to listen to more audiobooks. But, like, my commute to work is, like, five minutes. You know? So, like, I don't really get a good chance to listen to audiobooks. So I'm going to try and, like, find some more time to probably, like, like, for example, I listened to it for about 45 minutes before I started the stream. Um, it is pretty neat so far. A lot of really good descriptions of stuff. Uh, Lilith, a character who shows up in this game, apparently has a flesh castle where she holds her hellish orgies. So, I mean, that's cool. Sometimes you just gotta hold a hellish orgy in your flesh castle. I mean, where else are you supposed to hold a hellish orgy, you know? I did it. I'm the winner. I beat all the bad guys. Got mad coin. Pick that up. But yeah, I didn't get too far into it. Um, but I'm. my main concern is that I don't know how well I'm paying attention to it. And I would like to pay attention to it. I like Darksiders shit. And uh, a novel... Like, I've been trying to get more into, like, reading books again recently. Uh, I've gotten a bunch of, like, Star Wars books and shit like that. Ooh. Let's just let this play out for a bit. Like, um, what have I been reading? I read, um, there's the Book of Sith and the Jedi Path, and then there's the Bounty Hunter's Guide, which I, I still need to finish reading. Um, and then I read the Ahsoka Tano novel, which was super good. I highly recommend that if you're into Star Wars shit. Um, so I wouldn't mind getting a physical copy of the Darksiders novel and giving it a perusal. I just gotta get a copy. <laughs> Alright. Let's take this guy on. Now that he's significantly weakened. Got him. He gave me a new set of sides. Ooh. They're way better 
than my other than my current ones. Oh, they look cool too. That's good. Listen, the most important thing when you're deciding what sort of equipment you need to be using in a game is whether or not it looks good. That's why games that allow you to give pieces of pieces of like armor and shit the outward appearance of another piece of armor are the best kind of video games. Yes, I did play a lot of Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 14. Why do you ask? Final Fantasy 14 is a good game. But yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try the audiobook thing a little bit because I got this one from like a free trial of Audible. And if it doesn't feel like it's working out, I'm probably just going to see about getting a physical uh, book, like a papered back. So I think that dude uh, that... I had the option to train with, actually, like, I could purchase new moves from him, kind of like how I could do with Volgrim in the last game. But, of course, I skipped that, so, ooh. Ball. Hello. How do I get that? I gotta loop around to there somehow, I guess. How on earth would I do something like that? Ah! Orb! If I can gently pat the orb. Oh, dip! Fuck! Okay, hold on. I can do this. Yeah. yeah! Got it. Like I said, we're going for that uh, legendary box, or whatever it was. I forget what it was called. We're going to get us a possessed weapon. Level that shit. There's a thing over there. It's shining. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay. It's like a timing thing. Or it's that. What's this? Yeah, fuck that thing up. Impossible. Now it's not. New savage... New claws. Claws of frost. Um... Doesn't seem worth it. Down we get. Push Bhutan. Cool. New area. And I unlocked the door to get back to the main hub. If I ever want to just fucking leave, just fucking get out of here. Fuck this place, honestly. What? Ouch. Stop it. Get out of here. Ooh! <gasps> 
Got him. I cannot. Now I can. Okay. I need orb. Shadow bombs can be used to destroy corruption. Fuck you, corruption. Fuck you. Oh. Or. Come here, Or. Hitter pattern. There we go. Oh. It wasn't enough. Okay, there's another Or. How, how do I. Oh. Book of the Dead page. Neat. How do I get Orb out? Oh! I see how I get Orb out. I need to use first Orb to release second Orb. Shadow Bomb Dislodge. Okay, so I gotta... I gotta just... Hiya! Get out of here, Orb! Pitter patter you over here. Ah, fuck. Oh, uh, the mechanics of ball rolling. Gotta get this ball rolling. Fuck. Why must fire rain down from the sky? I feel like this is gonna end up being one of those things where it's just like there's like a 1 in 500 chance that it hits me and just kills me immediately. Like, I know that's probably not what's gonna happen, but, like, part of me is just like, what if, though? It is a volcano. Hey, yeah. Get out of here, orb. Get out the Peter Stalker. I'm assuming this thing probably has the key in it for the door in the next one. Alright. That's the puzzle complete. Uh, for you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello? Hmm. What happens if I do this? I don't know, but let's find out. Huh. Time okay. Oh, it's a timed thing. Well, fuck that then. Hold on. There's other stuff I can do. Well, maybe not so much other stuff. Ooh, that, I don't like that noise. That's right to Hello? What's this? So now I'm back in this room. Oh shit! In the end, it's fine. Did 
that give me like any cool shit? Ooh, what's this? A vagabond talisman. Yeah, I'll go ahead and equip that. That seems like it'll help me. Oh. Hold on, guys. Give me like two seconds. Weirdly, I get I think I get more time Uh what? Did they turn it off? Did you guys turn off the thing? Okay. You know what? You're gonna be like that. I didn't know that could happen. That's so weird. Or maybe I did know, and I forgot. Which is also a very, very liable explanation. Shit. That's not what I want. Okay. Oh, we're doing a good job. I'm doing a good job at playing this video game. It's a good game, I promise. I'm just bad at it. <laughs> that's, that's a little joke I tell here, as we all know that I'm the best at video games. Okay. Give us another shot. Make sure I'm pushing all the right directions. Yep. Aha! Fuck you, lava. Okay, so now, open that up, get that cash muns. And grab this. Chunk. Fast travel back to town to purchase supplies from any dungeon and return to where you left off via dungeon waypoints. Press this to view the map. Okay. Sure is a map. So you do get fast travel in this game um, based on specific icons in the world. Um, so, like, I can use fast travel to leave if I wanted to. I don't want to, but I could. And then it would just drop me where I left off, basically. Oh, hey! It's Karn's thing. I will gladly bring Karn's shit, because I like Karn. Karn is cool. Let's take a look. Where are we going? Oh. Into a cutscene, apparently. Oh. Bossed fight? Who's there? I warn you. I might cry. Car. Uh, okay. Oh, fuck. Ouch. Okay. Let's see the big damage. Get in there with the qui- Ow! It's not expecting him to just fucking explode on me. This is fine. Ugh. 
Big damage, big damage, no whammies. Oh. Okay, I wasn't as close to him losing his shit as I was before, so that probably saved me a little bit. Eat shit, darn. Yeah, the Dark Avenger. This weapon once belonged to the human warrior known as Draven. During countless duels, the weapon absorbed Draven's own rage and thirst for revenge against those who wronged him. The Dark Avenger is infamous for possessing a furious lust and blood and carnage. I too possess a furious lust. Let's go ahead and see about equipping stuff. I can't even fucking use this yet. That's fine. Uh, I can put on Sage Boots. That will give me more money drops. Which is always good. Money drops are important. Uh, okay. So I can go that way. This guy came from this direction. Let's see where he originated from. Sure is a wall back here. Sure is a whole lot of dirt. Bust this door wide open. Got boots? I don't think they're going to be better than the boots I just got. Oh, actually, they're way better. <laughs> they're actually way better. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's do it. So one thing that I never did in the original um, game for this one, I unlike uh, with Darksiders 1 where I had collected all of the pieces and uh, started the game, started a new game just with it, I haven't gotten the Abyssal Armor in this game. Part of me kind of wants to get the Abyssal Armor during this run, so I may look up like a guide for that or something. Um, maybe. It's a, it's a big maybe. I might just play the game like a normal fucking game. Ooh, I got shoulders! Finally. My left shoulder will no longer be cold. Got me a pauldron. Uh, action. Uh, ac action. Ah, shoot! We got magma. Y'all, we got magma. Out here in the Forgelands. We did it. We completed the cauldron. Let's get the fuck out of here. So next we just gotta do the Tears of the Mountain. Which is, which is literally just water. We have to unleash water. Oh, hey! <gasps> I will take that. Gladly. Oh, hey, there's a chest down here, too. I'm just finding all sorts of cool shit. Impossible. Impossible. I cannot. Uh, health on execute. Uh, much tighter range of damage, though the high isn't particularly high. Um... Execution chance goes down to plus 3%, but that's fine. Health on execute is very good for us. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So you can already tell that like there's a lot of switching around between like various pieces of armor and equipment and everything. And there's going to be a lot of that as the game goes on. Hey Karn, I found your dumb plate. Where are you? There you are, man. Hey, I got something for you. The mountain has a voice! How did you... No, no, doesn't matter. You have done what we... What I... Failed to do. You must take the good news yeah, I did. to Alia as soon as you can. 
I don't even know what you had a problem with. It was really easy I to get around that in there. Dish you wanted. You're a good man. Much more so than your name would imply. I'm in What's your that supposed debt? to mean? I did it. I got experience and guilt. Oh, right. I can fast travel. Let's do that. Try stone. Now we're just going to go to armor and weapons. There is a cat curled up on the floor. He is a little cinnamon bun. I love him. Hello, Ragnarok. Who is a sleepy boy? Ragnarok is. Let's talk to this guy who says he can train us. I saw the fire spreading from here, horseman. Tell me. Sick, right? Any eyebrows left under that mask? <laughs> You're funny. Uh, quickly drops to the ground. That's really good. Um, useful launch attack. Holding. Send enemies over death's head. Also good. Painbringer. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Having an ability to cancel... The an aerial state is really good. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Fighting that guy is a whole nother thing uh, that we're not gonna do right now, obviously. Uh, we're gonna go uh, talk to this lady, Alia. Let's see what's up. Also, we're gonna check this thing out again. I got anything in my inbox? My inbox is empty. Sucks. Yo, baby. <laughs> Horseman, the fire of the mountain flows again. Yes, sure fucking by does. My hand and Karn. Karn, that pup. He hasn't a clue. And yet, you're not wrong. Forge burns once more. You know what awaits you, Ryder. To finish this, you must restore the tears. I'm not your errand boy, Maker. Aye, and but yet... our fates are now yoked. Help us, and we will help you. In the meantime, take this. It might be of use. Oh, shit. Redemption. A powerful pistol belonging to Death's brother, Strife. Oh, this pistol. It belongs to my brother, Strife. How came it here? I cannot say. But there are other goods you may barter for now as well. Restore the tears. Begin make shoot then bang. Then return to me. Vals has been busy. There are new items. Uh, nothing I can afford. I could always sell stuff. There is the possibility that I could sell things. Um, it's good to hold on to the ones that have like a colored rarity. Ah, valid. To feed to did he did she just say I'm valid? Oh, oh, thank you, Alia. Thank you. Um, the colored rarity ones are better for feeding to uh, possessed items. But for the most part, you can sell other stuff. Valis. My powers have increased. And I got a skill point. Go ahead and spend a skill point. Alright, let's see here. Um, you're inescapable! What 
Change it before me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to shoot. You. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, it just kind of recharges, I guess. Tell me of the tears of the mountain. Oh, I guess I can't just... Can I just talk? Okay, I guess I can't just talk to her anymore. I fucked up my chance to get the lore dump on that. Um, so we're, we've just about reached the end of our stream. We're going to go ahead and pop over here real quick because there's another character uh, on this side of the shit. And we're going to go ahead and find out what her whole deal is. Because we might as well. We're here. I also very much like her. We've been awaiting For your obvious arrival, reasons. Horseman. Your shadow has long hovered over this realm. Many know the Reaper, old one. But I don't know you. We are the builders of this world. But corruption seethes at its heart and destroys in days what we shaped over eons. Adar does his best to soothe our pain, but our souls yearn for only one comfort. Death. We are without hope. Horseman, do you ever doubt your future? No. So one like yourself would set out to change a fate that displeases him. That is a long and dangerous path, even for Death himself. How is that your I may be concern, taking screenshots just to display, hey, here's like my favorite character in this whole game. If you gather the proper materials and return them to me, I'll make a potent talisman to aid you on your journey. What do you require? Okay. Stalker's bone, mordant dew, what? and carve in what? stone. It is I don't not know what a any of that is. Charm. Where can I find them? Somewhere in the Forge Lands. I rarely leave Tristone, but that pup Khan is always out exploring. He can tell you more, no doubt. What are you it doing? Is there, old one, and yet raise life from the earth. I am a shaman, bound to this task even as our days darken. We are as the vines, coming to root, then to flower, and then to decay, dropping seeds upon the dust. A circle everlasting. I cannot stop it. Nor can I stop you. What Tell about me the more tree? About the tree of life. The forest around the tree has been corrupted. It hungers. You cannot reach the tree, not with breath still in you. Shaman, tell me what you the see. The path of a brother troubles you. It is your past, but also your future. Pauldron of the Horse. Myria, the Maker Shaman, gave you this pauldron. The path of brother troubles you. Stone, okay. wood, iron. These are the gifts of the Makers. That's neat. Let me fucking throw that shit on. I can't. Not a high enough level yet. But once I am, boy howdy, look at those fucking stats. Alright. As you reap, I will sow the same blood. So we're going to take a look at what she's doing. She's growing some plants. Looks like it's good. Oh, no. No. Not so much. Oh, well. She tried. Bang, bang, bang. That's all I have to say about that. All right, so uh, that is going to be it for today. I want to thank everybody for coming by the stream. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you're not already, go ahead and follow me here on Twitch, or you can also follow me on Twitter, at Sane underscore Intolerant, or on my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash Sane Intolerant, where I post all of these streams uh, after I've streamed them. Um, I'm going to be back, uh, if not tomorrow, then Friday, and then obviously Saturday, playing some more Darksiders 2. Um, I'm really excited to get further into this game and just kind of show it off. I love this series. Um, I love its whole aesthetic and just everything about it. Um, and I am excited to uh, talk and play more, talk about and play more of it.
So, uh, uh, what else? Uh, art for the stream and YouTube thumbnails is done by my friend Tish. Uh, you can find them them on Twitter at Mellifox. That's at M E L L I E F O X. Uh, and yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this stream and you want to help me and my fiance Natalie out, you can go ahead, drop a donation in the link just below the stream feed. I actually need to update the information below the stream feed because I'm pretty sure it still might say I'm playing Call of Cthulhu or potentially Assassin's Creed Rogue if I haven't updated it in a while. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. want to thank everybody for coming by. I hope you all have a good one. Take care. <laughs>